Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic for the first time in quite a while. And that is because we're going to go after some feral goats, which are a possible species we could see on the brand new map in Call of the Wild. Because they are something that actually is in New Zealand, along with, uh, actually, actually completely uh, lost what I was saying there and had to uh, <laughs> real quickly look it up. But uh, as I was saying, uh, feral goats are a species that could possibly be on New Zealand, along with wallabies, which are basically like a smaller kangaroo. So we're also going to try and get some kangaroos today, but primarily we're going to go for the feral goats. So let's head over here. This is a pretty good spot that I've had some good luck getting them in the past, and we've even had a few decent sized ones here. So we will see what we can find and well, that's a good start. We got ourselves a kangaroo, actually, so I guess we'll take out a kangaroo first. I don't know if this is a male or a female. Let's get a good look at it. That one actually is a male, so let's go ahead and try to get a good shot on it. I actually think I have my shooting rest with me, if I can remember where I have it. Yes, we have it right there. All right, let's see if we can get a good shot lined up. And that is a dead kangaroo. Well, I'm not exactly sure how big it's going to be, but that actually looks like some feral goats running away. Actually, no, it's another kangaroo. I saw like three of them, so I immediately assumed it was goats. But anyway, I don't remember if I mentioned it at the intro, but we are going to be using the 223 AR-15 on the feral goats because it is a gun that you can actually use on them. Uh, I'm really hoping that if they don't add a 308 with the New Zealand map in Call of the Wild, I really hope they add a 223 AR-15. I think that would be an awesome thing to use on the feral goats if they do end up putting them in the reserve. I'd say it's a fairly, fairly high chance that they will end up in the reserve, but you never know. Could add literally any of the possible species, and there's actually quite a few of them. I looked a little bit more online and there's a lot more species than I initially thought, so there really is endless possibilities for this next map. But anyway, here is this little kangaroo right here. Get a good look at this little guy, and then we'll go ahead and pick it up. So as far as I know, this isn't anything too special score-wise, this seems like a pretty average one. So we won't really worry about anything else on this guy, no trophy shots or anything like that. But uh, let's go ahead and look for some feral goats, since that is the primary reason that we are here. Oh my gosh, that is a ton of kangaroos. I don't think I've ever seen this many in one spot. But then again, I don't really hunt this map too often, and when I do, it's always for feral goats, so... That could be why, but that is a ton of kangaroos. But this little guy right here seems to be the only male in the area, and if we don't see any feral goats, in this immediate spot, I think we will go ahead and take that roo out. And it does not look like there's any goats in the area, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's go ahead and try to get this guy down. And that is a dead kangaroo. Hopefully this one will be a little bit bigger than the last one. Anyway, before we get too far into this video, I figure I'll ask you guys this real quickly. Would you guys like to see me kind of start a series of hunting uh, one or two potential species for the new map and kind of just making a video out of that? Kind of like we are now. We're hunting the feral goats and the kangaroos. Maybe next time we could hunt the rusa and the sambar deer or two other species possibly, depending on what you guys want to see, but I think that could be a cool little series to do while we're waiting for the new map. And we could also hunt some of the species in Call of the Wild, maybe do a fallow deer and red deer hunt. There's a lot of cool stuff we could do, and I think it could be a fun series, so let me know if you guys want to see that down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and grab this kangaroo right here, and see if this one is a decent one. And, ooh, 80, that's not bad at all. I think that's actually pretty good. Let me check the leaderboards real quickly. It looks like you need 89 to get on the leaderboard, but 80 is not bad at all. That's a good kangaroo. We'll go ahead and trophy shot that, actually. You know, I'm liking the way that looks. Once the sun comes back out, we'll go ahead and just go with this. And there we go. Not a bad trophy shot at all. That is a call from a male feral goat. 
we'll go ahead and drop a marker near that and try to go find it. Actually, it's right there. That's actually a really cool looking one too. The great thing about the feral goats is there's so many different looks for them. And that one right there looks really nice. I'm just wondering if there's any more in the area. Because usually with the feral goats, if there's one, there's more. And a lot of times you'll find up to even like 10, 15 of these guys in one area. And actually, yeah, I do see another one. It's quite a ways off though. So I don't think we're gonna have them close enough to where we can shoot both, but we'll definitely try to get them both down. Anyway, let's go ahead and try to line up on this. All right, here we go. That looked like a good shot to me. And looks like the other one did not spook, so we should be able to get it also. So our goat actually did not go far at all. And as you guys can maybe see, our other goat is right here, but it's behind a bush. So whenever I zoom in with the binoculars, we can't see it anymore, which is unfortunate. But at least we know it's pretty close. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for it to move, we'll go ahead and claim this one. And I'm very interested to see what this guy scores. I know this isn't the horns that can score super high, but still very curious. Go ahead and pick it up. And it is 142. So yeah, these are the horns that don't really score super high, sadly. But that still looks absolutely awesome. And that looks awesome right there. That is a really cool looking goat. Get that shot right there. And we'll go ahead and sell it. I can kind of see this other goat right here. I don't really trust using the 223 at that angle, so we're gonna go ahead and use the 308 for this one just so we can make sure we get a clean kill on it. And yeah, that'll do the trick. And here's this guy right here. This is a different horn variation also, so you guys will get to see a little bit of variety here. And this guy is only a 116, but that is a very cool looking one at least. There we go. I'm actually liking the way that looks. So we'll go ahead and do that right there. Beautiful looking goat. You know, the thing about the feral goats is no matter what size they are, they all look really nice. And so I'm kind of afraid if they do bring them with the New Zealand Reserve in Call of the Wild, that I'll probably end up spending all of my cash taxidermizing them because they do look absolutely amazing. And if they're anything like classics, then we're going to have a problem. I'm going to be completely broke in that game. There we have it. There is a bunch of feral goats. And from the looks of it, there's a couple decent ones. Nothing huge, though. But that is really nice to finally see a giant group of them. And this is what I'm really hoping that we will end up seeing in Call of the Wild if these do get added. Stuff like this is just so awesome to see where you can truly see the variety in them when it comes to color and horn shape and all that. Even the fact that some of them have long hair, others have short hair. It's just such an awesome species. And I really, really hope they do add them in. So we are for sure going to take out probably this guy right here. And then after that, we'll just take out whatever else we're able to get a shot into. We might actually go for that one if it gives us a better shot. Because there is two of them. Actually... I think we got at least two of them, possibly three. So we just got another call from one, and I believe that is the same ones that we shot at, so... They have calmed down, it seems, and we should be able to get to a spot where we can take out some more. But, first we need to try and find the blood from the ones that we shot at. Alright, well, before we go for the ones that we downed, I actually did see one of them right there, but... Before we go for them, let's go ahead and take out a couple more. Since they're gonna stand here and... Give us the shot. And that is two more goats down. So we've got at least three and there's probably a fourth and maybe even a fifth. I still don't know how many we hit the first time. So I guess we'll have to find that out soon. Anyway, here is the first one that we shot at. This is the curly horned one. So that is a nice looking one for sure. These ones actually is the rack that gets really big. This one unfortunately was a female, so it's not super huge, but 
The male ones can get clear into the 300s and I believe this is the only antler, or not antler, but horns that can actually make it onto the leaderboard. So this is what we want to be looking for, but obviously much bigger and a male. But anyway, that is what they look like. I really like these horns, but there's a couple others that I think are a little better. The spirally horns that go straight up, like the first one that we killed, is probably my favorite, but these aren't too bad either. Just go with that, I guess. Something a little bit different. And here is the two that we smoked at the end there. This one is a male. It's a kind of a small one though, but it is a short-haired uh, white one. Go ahead and just do that, I guess. And then this one right here actually, I believe is a smaller version of the horns that we saw on that second goat we shot. And yeah, that is kind of what that looks like. Just go with that, I guess. Yeah, it works. Not really trying to make it perfect, but want to at least give you guys a closer look at them. That is actually a pretty good sized goat right there. Definitely want to take that out, and then once we take it out, we're going to go ahead and fast travel over to a different spot that I usually find them at. And that took it out. Nice. And uh, for those of you that don't know, if you walk forward while you're standing, it does actually stabilize your shot a little bit, so that's why I was moving forward while I was taking that shot, but... Anyway, we got it down, and it's actually a pretty good-looking goat, so I'm interested to see what it's like up close. And here is that beautiful goat. I think this might be the coolest one we've killed today. We had that really tall, spirally-horned one, but this one right here is also a very, very nice-looking one. So let's go ahead and set it up. Yeah, that is not a bad one at all. I'm actually a big fan of the way that one looks. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and take a picture of this if we can. Beautiful. I'm liking the way that looks. We actually already have the call from a feral goat, so we already know where some are, and that one actually is a male, so that's even better. And unfortunately, that goat that we heard is a pretty small one, and it seems to be the only one here. But we'll go ahead and take it out anyway. And that is a dead feral goat. Now this little guy right here is not really anything too crazy, so we're just going to go ahead and pick him up and move on. Not going to take a trophy shot or anything, because it's just a pretty average one. Nothing insane, and we've already seen one very similar. Alright, so we actually do have some more goats over here. It looks like most of the ones that I'm seeing as of now aren't anything huge, but I'm just happy we found some more. And actually that one right there is the best goat here. From what I can see now, at least, we might have some more coming over. In fact, it does look like there is, so I'm going to wait a couple minutes and see if anything better comes along. If not, we'll go ahead and take that curly-horned white one. Alright, we are now in the stand, so let's go ahead and try to get these guys. Uh, we're going to try and get this one and this one for sure. And I think we got three in total, so that's nice. We might even be able to get another if I can see it. And I think we got it. Yep, we definitely hit it at least once. Most likely twice. Alright, so here is that curly horned white one that we were looking at. And this is a smaller one. Indeed, it is another female. But, still a cool looking goat for sure. And I think that actually looks pretty decent right there for the most part. Just drag the head a little bit. And yeah, there we go. Here is the second one. And after claiming that first one, I'm kind of starting to think that this actually might have been a little bit more impressive. Even though this one's not huge either. Actually, this is not even the one I was thinking of. Well... Anyway, we got that one down too. Uh, this one's actually not really worth a trophy shot, so we'll go ahead and sell it. Where's the one that I was thinking of? I know we dropped another one with the spiral horns. Oh, there it is. This is actually the one that I was talking about. 
Uh, this one right here is probably the most impressive one that we shot out of that little bunch. But at first glance, I didn't really think too much of it, but this one's definitely the best looking of them. Alright, so that looks pretty good right there, I'd say, for the most part. Definitely a decent little trophy shot. Unfortunately, I'm not really seeing any of the other ones that we shot at, so I don't even think that we hit them as well as I thought I did, but... I guess it is what it is. We've got a decent amount of them regardless, so... I think what we're gonna do now is we'll just go ahead and toss up on screen all of the ones that we managed to take out and get trophy shots of. So you guys can kind of get a side-by-side -side comparison of all the different variations that you can really find and all the possibilities with the feral goats and I really hope that they bring them into Call of the Wild. I think they would make an amazing addition and would give us a lot of variety and something new to go after. But anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post daily videos along with five live streams a week. All usually on the Hunter Call of the Wild and the Hunter Classic with various other old classic games like uh, Cabela's and Deer Hunter and stuff like that kind of thrown in the mix. Also consider liking the video if you have not already. It's a huge help in getting my videos recommended to other viewers and it really does help the channel grow. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.